former nuclear bunker in Worcestershire could be transformed into a museum and coffee shop if a controversial planning application gets the go-ahead. Drake Low Tunnels near Kidderminster were originally built during the Second World War as an underground factory to produce aircraft engines, Kath Mackey reports. Sid Robinson opens a large rusty door and walks into a vast underground tunnel network. As caretaker of the Drake Low Tunnels near Kidderminster, he makes his way by torchlight to the generator room, where volunteer Mike Arnold flips the switch. We'll get all the beds in here, um, so it's a ladies dorm. The pair are discussing plans to turn the tunnels into a museum. Fantastic idea. This was kept away from everybody's secret for years, and I think it's nice that people can actually come and see what actually went on. The past echoes through the three and a half miles of tunnels. The ghosts of the 1940s line up at the wartime canteen, whilst mould eats away at the radio studio built during the Cold War. If it had gone pear-shaped during the Cold War, this is the room where a BBC reporter would have been dispatched to, and this is the desk that the news would have been broadcast from. But this isn't just about an application to turn the tunnels into a museum. If it were, these councillors and other protesters might feel differently. Because the owners, Quirkus Ilex, a Swiss company, want to build six houses on the site and sell them to pay for the museum. On the face of it, you might think it's a good idea, but it isn't a good idea here because this is a particularly sensitive area of Greenbelt uh, and the um, people have been stopped from building and doing anything in this area for a long time. Prior to the, uh, the factory days, it was known as Little Switzerland because there was a little Swiss-style village there, so it's not like we're ripping up a, a fresh piece of field to, to build some houses. It's, it's on ground which has already been built on twice before. Arguments aside, there's no denying this is a remarkable piece of local history. Roy Godfrey worked here when it was owned by the Ministry of Defence in the Cold War. We had to clean the place up, renew all the false ceiling tiles, which were all bowing with the weight of sand. Um, do the beds and everything, just, just make sure everything was OK. The museum and housing applications with Wire Forest District Council will decide the future of this unique reminder of life in the 20th century. Kath Mackey, BBC Middlers Today, in the Drake Low Tunnels. Dan's here with the sport, despite...